In October 2000, construction was completed on the world's third longest cable-stayed bridge across the Yangtze River at Nanjing, China. The bridge, which spans 1,238 meters in length and is 30 meters in width, crosses China's longest river and connects Greater Jiangsu Province with the ancient city of Nanjing. Before paving could begin, the agency responsible for building the bridge, Nanjing Construction Command Post, engaged world-renowned bridge designers T.Y. Lin International to independently create an evaluation and testing program to determine which paving material was best suited overall for the bridge. The paving material chosen would ultimately have to withstand the oppressive summer heat and the sub-freezing Chinese winter. Testing of possible paving materials was carried out at Southeast University in Nanjing and included extensive fatigue tests in MTS dynamic testing machines over temperatures from zero to 60 degrees centigrade. The goal of these tests, to find a paving material that would overcome the fatigue cracking and rutting previously experienced on orthotropic steel deck bridges, which are paved with asphalt, modified asphalt, or mastic asphalt concrete. After exhaustive research, the Nanjing Construction Command Post selected Kemco System's epoxy asphalt as the material of choice. Due to its superior ability to resist fatigue cracking and rutting, even at high-low temperature extremes. Epoxy asphalt was first developed in the late 1950s as a jet fuel and jet blast resistant specialty pavement by Shell Oil Company. Epoxy asphalt is a tough thermoset polymer formed by combining two components, an epoxy resin and a curing agent asphalt mixture. Epoxy asphalt concrete is a polymer concrete made of a slow curing epoxy asphalt binder mixed with hot high quality standard asphalt concrete aggregates. At the time of its development, it enjoyed technical acclaim, but did not see commercial success until 1967, when Adhesive Engineering Company supplied epoxy asphalt for the paving of the mile-long orthotropic steel deck span of the San Mateo Hayward Bridge crossing San Francisco Bay. Since this historic paving, over 100 million pounds of epoxy asphalt concrete have been installed on some of the world's best known and heavily traveled bridge decks, including the Golden Gate, San Diego Coronado, San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge, the Lionsgate Bridge in Vancouver, and most recently, the Yangtze River Bridge at Nanjing, China. In 1993, the technical staff of Adhesive Engineering Company founded Kemco Systems. Kemco currently offers over 100 products and manufactures a diverse selection of polymer systems for use in construction applications. Epoxy asphalt is one of these outstanding products. Kemco's epoxy asphalt is a versatile, durable, high-performance polymer concrete that resists fatigue cracking, rutting, and shoving and develops an excellent bond to steel or Portland cement concrete. It can be easily mixed and applied by local construction crews using conventional asphalt batch plant equipment and paving equipment with minimal lane closures. Kemco Systems provides everything needed for the successful application of epoxy asphalt, including the epoxy asphalt liquid components, the meter mix machine, which maintains temperature and mixes the epoxy asphalt binder components and then injects the mixture into the batch plant pug mill and the spray distributor machine for spraying the bond coat mixture onto the bridge deck. Kemco provides technical support for the contractor and owner throughout the entire process. How does epoxy asphalt paving work? Epoxy asphalt paving consists of two steps. First, the application of hot epoxy asphalt bond coating to the surface, and second, the application of epoxy asphalt concrete over the bond coat using conventional asphalt concrete paving equipment. The Yangtze River Bridge at Nanjing is an excellent example of Kemco's epoxy asphalt installation. First, a 0.07 millimeter inorganic zinc paint coat was applied to the steel deck, which provides backup corrosion protection. Next, a 0.68 millimeter hot epoxy asphalt bonding coat was applied. After the bonding coat, a 25 millimeter leveling course was applied and then compacted. 
The leveling course requires pneumatic rollers for breakdown and finish rolling. Nine metric ton steel rollers for intermediate compaction. Atop the leveling course, another layer of bonding coat is applied, this time at a thickness of 0.45 millimeters. And finally, the 25 millimeter wearing course is applied and compacted. The wearing course requires the steel rollers for the breakdown and finish rolling, and pneumatic rollers for intermediate compaction. The contractor used Chemco spray distributor to apply the hot epoxy asphalt bond coats at a temperature of 150 degrees centigrade. The contractor controlled the coverage rate by monitoring the spray distributor's flow meters while spraying onto pre-measured sections of the deck. Movable shields help protect the bridge structure from overspray. Chemco's meter mix machine was located at the batch plant approximately 12 kilometers from the bridge site and was installed by batch plant workers under the supervision of Chemco technical advisors. This machine accepts the liquid components from the batch plant's heated storage tanks, circulating them continuously through insulated lines at about 120 degrees centigrade. The electronic control system, operated from the batch plant control room, diverts the two components on demand through a dynamic mixing head into the pug mill for each batch of epoxy asphalt concrete. The basalt aggregate selected for this project was chosen for its superior polish resistance and high density. Based on tests of all local aggregates conducted by Southeast University in Nanjing, the batch plant dryer heats the aggregate to the required mixing temperature. The plant then screens the aggregate into specific sizes and recombines them into the specified mix gradation. Because temperature control of the mixture is crucial, batch plant operators measure each batch temperature with infrared thermometers as the batch is dropped from the pug mill before being placed into the haul truck. Haul trucks carrying seven 1.4 metric ton batches transferred the epoxy asphalt to the bridge site. Long stem bimetallic thermometers inserted into holes in the sides of the trucks monitor the temperature of the mix during transport. When the haul trucks arrive at the bridge site, the temperature of each truckload is carefully rechecked and the final schedule for discharge time limits is established. Within their scheduled time, the haul trucks discharge the paving mix into a conventional paving machine. Because of the reactive nature of epoxy asphalt, the contractor must be careful that the mix does not hang up in the auger system and later become dislodged as a clump of partially cured pavement. To minimize the tendency for the haul trucks to slide on the fresh bond coat on the steel deck, workers spread paving mix ahead of the truck tires and on down slopes attach the trucks to the paving machine. Compaction is accomplished by three rolling stages of three coverages each. There are nine passes in all, three breakdown, three intermediate, and three final. The contractor must complete the breakdown rolling of three passes before the temperature of the mat has dropped below 82 degrees centigrade. Final rolling must be complete before the paving mix temperature drops below 65 degrees centigrade. Inspectors use infrared thermometers to be sure that rolling is completed within these time limits. The compacted pavement will bear normal highway traffic when the pavement temperature has dropped to near ambient levels, which can be as soon as two hours after rolling is complete in moderate climates. Full curing of the pavement requires two to six weeks after application, depending on local temperature. For the Yangtze River Bridge paving, the contractor required only 13 working days to install more than 5,000 metric tons over the 37,000 square meter deck. Chemco's epoxy asphalt concrete has a 30-year proven track record for successful installation on some of the world's best-known orthotropic steel bridges. It demonstrates superior resistance to fatigue cracking and rutting, even in extreme climates. With proper design, careful aggregate selection, and strict temperature controls, Chemco's epoxy asphalt concrete far outperforms all other orthotropic steel deck pavements.